Hey, what's up guys? I'm Praetorian and welcome back to Crusader Kings 3 in our roleplay series as the Dokianos Dynasty. So last episode, I unfortunately just completely forgot about giving those titles out. And so we got way deeper in debt than was necessary if I would have given out these two titles. And it also resulted in our son moving to Bulgaria and thus we cannot give him any of his titles just yet. Now he will still inherit them and, and you know, once we die and then that will be fine. Um, and, and it won't affect anything for the most part. It's just unfortunate that we weren't able to, to give him the titles. Uh, you know, I would have preferred that to have, have preferred to have happened that way, but I just completely forgot, guys, uh, that we needed to give those out. And uh, more than anything, that cost us a lot of money. Uh, we were probably getting hit pretty hard uh, throughout the entire war because of that. Uh, so that was my bad, guys. It is what it is. As far as giving up this last title, we're going to wait until our son comes of age. I know we're going to take a hit on the income and the levies, but I'm okay with that. I'm okay. I, I want to finish up the, uh, uh, you know, I want to finish up training him. Uh, so we still are at this feast here for our vassal, the Duke of Athens. Uh, what did I promise last night? Okay, so you've seen this event, and apparently we we're we promised him something, but we're gonna say it was just junk and ramblings. I think we would say that. I mean, we are generous, but at the same time, we're not like necessarily honest. Yeah, I'll just say it's just dr drunken ramblings. Uh, what is he so angry about? Just wanting a, a seat on the council? Yeah, he just wants a seat on the council. All right, so yeah, we're just gonna say it was drunken ramblings. I feel like the only trait that really makes you required to do that one is uh, if you're a an honest person. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and accept that. That gold and ransom off that character for 10. Uh, I think there's still a lot more left in our prison. And we're gonna have to wait until the, the king of Serbia gets some damn money. He's at negative 170 here, so he is improving the situation. Are all of these the king of Serbia? I wanna say there's a couple more. And yeah, there's a boy here, he doesn't have the money just yet to ransom off any of these characters yet. And it seems that the new duke here is not willing to accept uh, ransoming of any of these characters regardless. So, with that in mind, might as well just get rid of them. Yeah, I guess we'll just release them for weak hooks. I don't really see any reason to, to recruit them. Let's take a look at this character here. Suppose we can demand conversion and, and get a weak hook. All right, and I think all the rest of these are, are with people we're waiting on, on money for. Just try and get out of this damn hole I put this in, which is it's really bad, man. Yeah, we're so deep in debt. And then, yeah, it's just such an unfortunate thing, but I, with her, I really would have preferred to have got our dynasty on here, but yeah, they wouldn't accept it. So there wasn't really any, there's no point on doing the matrilineal marriage. Like that doesn't do anything for us uh, at all. Uh, I guess we had an alliance here, uh, but yeah, uh, I don't really see any point of having done that. So we can try and kill her current uh, betrothal, try and murder him. I don't know who this character is and it's even somebody who would want to murder. Uh, he's up here. Okay, so he's a Serbian. So, well, I mean, he's not a Serbian. He's a uh, he's not a Serbian. He's Breton, but he lives in Serbia. We could try and kill him. Just see uh, what our chances are. Of course, we can't buy any agents, so they have to join of their own free will, uh, or we have to have a hook on them. Which, as you can see, we don't have any uh, hooks or, or secrets on anybody here right now. Uh, right now we're looking at 46%. What we could go ahead and do is, I mean, I guess we're still collecting secrets here. We can go and let it finish once. Let that finish one more time and then we can switch him over to help focus on the schemes. But yeah, really the main thing we have to, to worry about now is just trying to get out of debt here. Uh, so we do have an opportunity to sway the patriarch even further. And we found an opportunity. I think I could argue that our goals are in fact the same as I dictate my, le my next letter. So we can do a diplomacy challenge against him. Uh, now our diplomacy is a little over average, so it's decent. Uh, his is not good at all. He's a terrible one, uh, terrible diplomacy. Where we say I can try to maintain subtlety and that'll give us uh, 30 opinion. What do we get from this one though? We can get up to 50 and we can gain prestige. Let's, let's see, is this what we'd wanna do? Emphasize our shared interest. Yeah, I don't see why not. So let's do that. And he was convinced, giving us prestige and increasing his opinion by a substantial amount. Uh, he's now at 100, so we can go ahead and stop swaying him, start working on somebody else. We have a very low chance of being successful anyways. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look, see who we want to sway next. 
I guess we can go back to Aristarchus since he really does not like us. And he's a more powerful vassal, so yeah, it would make sense to try sway him, swaying him again. Looks like the feast is over, and this should uh, result in a lack of stress or a reduction of stress. Uh, we're gonna get the Eagle Reveler trait, excellent. Uh, so we've been to enough feasts to get that. That's gonna increase diplomacy and intrigue, and also increase the opinion with this Duke here, which is really good because his opinion is quite garbage. He does not like us. We're now at negative 75 here. And he's always not going to like us as long as we don't have him on our council. He's just so bad. Uh, I just don't know if I want to put him on the council. Uh, we can go take a look, see if any of these characters waiting to get money have money. Yeah, he's going to, it's going to take him a while to get out of debt. Uh, let's see down here though. Does this character have money? He does not. He's still in debt. All right, so under siege, the true enemy of every soldier is complacency. My brother and friend, Prince uh, Dorothe Dorotheos says before taking a bite out of an apple. We are standing side by side on my castle's walls looking down on the soldiers conducting drills below. We could exchange the castle's gates for planks of wood and dole the arrows in the troops' quivers, he continues. Lead the soldiers in a mock charge against the castle and see how well they do in action. So we can say, good idea. You should lead the defenders. And we might gain a martial lifestyle perk from this. Or we say, our time is better spent improving our defenses. Yeah, let's try this out. Why not? Well, we'll let him. Uh, we'll let him lead it. We'll see how it goes. Uh, a first charge. A tightly shut gate and walls that loom high into the sky. Archers can be seen as shadows moving beyond the battlements. A feeling of genuine excitement permeates the air. In the lull before battle, I turn and address the soldiers. My order rings out loud and, cl and clear across the battlefield. So you say charge the main gate, or you say bring out the ladders. The attack will progress well if we do that. Uh, doing this one, a riskier approach that might yield a higher reward. We'll gain 50 martial lifestyle experience points. We'll get some stress because we're patient, so we can't do that because we're a patient character. And you'd have a 65% chance of it uh, progressing very well. 35% uh, chance it progresses poorly. So we have to do this one since we are uh, a patient person. So we're going to bring out uh, the ladders. But you know what? I would like to note that I really wish that battles and sieges and stuff had more events like this rather than just the mock one why is a, a mock siege like more you know significant more flavorful than a real siege yeah, i'd like to see a, a more events not all the time you can, don't need these events all the time but it'd be nice to see them every once in a while you rarely ever see battle events or siege events for that matter uh, battlement bravado taking the final step up upon the wall surrounding the castle i survey the scene oh so we're leading our men up there aren't we uh, many soldiers may have been lost to the archers on the walls, but we will not be deterred. One after another, we overwhelm the defenders and stand victorious over the fallen. I take a deep breath, and then it's time to press on again. So I can say, everyone with me, this is the risky approach, again, because we're patient, we want to do that. But we do still have two other options. We can say, archers, take up your positions. 90% chance is going to progress well. Or hit them hard, show them no mercy. And this would result in a count getting injured here their cousin he's one of our knights he'd get injured if we do that we'd gain dread and it progresses very well uh and it's a tyrannical action as well uh let's just do this one yeah i think as a patient character that's that's one we're gonna do and then attack progresses well excellent uh every step of the way the stairwell echoes as another dulled weapon bounces off the middle pillar for the second time in a matter of minutes, I curse the tight spiral that blocks us from swinging our weapons at the defenders. The heaving breath of the soldiers around me is deafening, and with every repelled attack, they grow more resigned and frustrated. I have to take charge of the situation. This is our last chance to turn the battle. I mean, isn't this, like, super cool? This is, like, a really cool event chain, and, and it's for a mock battle. It's just, I don't know. It just feels like this kind of stuff is one way you could really add to uh, the flavor of a war. Uh, and they just don't have these kind of type of things in the actual conflicts. Uh, so we can say, after me, charge, and the attack will progress well. Uh, this is an option because we're reckless. So even though we're patient, we are also reckless. Uh, so we could do that one. We can say, don't let up. We will overwhelm them. This is a diplomacy challenge. We can gain 50 martial, martial lifestyle experience points. And we have a 72% chance that it progresses very well. Or you say, one at a time, stay alert. 92% chance that it progresses well. Well, we are reckless. So, yeah, we'll say this one. After me, charge. So that one. And our brother did create a cadet branch. Not surprising. The AI always seems to do that when they are at least a duke level. 
Uh, to Stormer Castle, the castle is ours. Among the celebrating soldiers, I find Prince Doriothe- Dor- Dorotheos, who congratulates me on a charge well led. Look at them, my lord. The change of haste did them good. Even you seem reinvigorated, even though your castle was just lost to attackers. So we can say our enemies will never stand a chance. We're going to get one lifestyle perk from this, and we're going to get the improved defenses. Okay. So with that, let's go and get our perk. Uh, so we can get the King's Guard to get more knights. See what other options are available. This would be really helpful with those marriages. Yeah, maybe we'll try and do that one. So we'll have to get courtship first. Then we'll try and go into the, the promising prospect. Uh, speaking of uh, that marriage, with our scheme here to assassinate this character, we're at 47% right now. We almost have the secret there, and then we can switch our our guy up. Uh, the capital of my uncle, Prince Aristarchus, uh, we're sort passing through his capital, receive an invitation to visit his castle. As I arrive, he welcomes me, welcomes me with respect and a tour. One thing that strikes me is that the place is full of unfinished projects. Okay, so we've seen this event many times. I wasn't sure what it was. And... We say, uh, just show me to the rooms, or we can stay for a while and help our brother out, which, or excuse me, our uncle out, which makes sense, since we are trying to sway him. And it looks like we did discover another secret. Excellent, on a baroness there. Okay, very useful to know. So, now we are having these visiting events here. Uh, let's go ahead and, and change up the spy master now, before I forget. Uh, so we want him to support our schemes now. And then we'll take a look and see how much that has increased it by. So we're at 60% for success chant, 75% for secrecy, and we cannot uh, pay for any agents. So we just have to work with what we have here. It's not great. Yeah, not great, but it's I guess it's better than 50%. So we're going to help out with uh, whichever one we have the best chance. Again, this is really just a sway event, and you can do all of them. So let's go ahead and do the, the gold, because that seems obvious. That's 76% chance, but yeah, I probably shouldn't keep a, a big thing of gold sitting out in the open. And it looks like we were successful on that one. So let's go and go with the next one, the books. Let's see if we're successful there. And yeah, it looks like we were successful here as well. Uh, so let's go and do the last one, which we have the lowest chance of success, which is trying to uh, help out with the dining hall. That's a stewardship challenge, though. And it looks like we were, unfortunately, we did fail on that one. Okay, so let's go to bed. And we should get a nice little boost in opinion with him for helping him out. That really fixed the place up. And so we got a ten a little batch of ten opinion there. Alright. Uh, so again, yeah, we're just kind of stuck. Not really able to do anything until we get out of this financial hole I put us in. Uh, as far as the things to do here, really nothing of note. And faction was created against the Empress. Okay, as long as they're not trying to... Uh, Overthrow her again. And it just kind of really threw us back a, a bit because, yeah, with the, the debt that, that I ended up accumulating there, it now really results in us not going, being able to uh, go to war for some time. Uh, we were able to increase our fame level. Excellent. So that'll give us more knights. I don't know how many knights we currently have. Uh, we have eight right now. That just get us up to nine now. And we were able to successfully sway Aristarchus. Fantastic. Uh, we really have a lot of penalties all through our, our provinces as well. Uh, due to, uh, yeah, you can see here, all kinds of problems, man. And these are really reducing our overall money. Yeah, it's just not good to go in debt for an, uh, a long period of time like we just did. All right, so uh, Mayor Vissarion Vis is preparing a special trip for the young Rusin. I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, the very child he trusts will be brought in, uh, will be brought on an enjoyable day in the forest. Um, he will unfortunately get lost, and it will be impossible uh, to find him before nightfall. And oh, he was so young. So it's a 60% chance of success. It's not very high, guys. Uh, but that's the best we can do. Uh, we could wait for it to, you know, a little bit longer, but I don't know what we're waiting for. I mean, maybe we'd be able to get out of debt in that time. We wouldn't have any money to buy agents, though. Again, it's not a very high chance of success, but whatever. Let's just do it. And he escaped unharmed. All right, so he's now kept under close watch. And so we can say a knight to the back would have done it. And that'll end our scheme. And then we have this secret attempted murder. So I guess we'll go and, and, and try again. Uh, it's going to be harder to do, though. But we'll keep it going. Uh, we do have a perk available. Let's go and get the Promising Prospects. So if we are able to assassinate him, we can arrange a marriage. 
uh, afterwards for her. But yeah, I don't know if it's going to be successful, guys. We have 11 months here and uh, still the same success chance. The Unstoppable Alexander. While studying the tactics of ancient generals, I was astonished to learn about the exploits of Alexander the Great during his conquest of Meso Mesopotamia. During the Siege of Tyre, uh, Ale Alexander assaulted an island fortress by demolishing a nearby town and then using the rubble to build a causeway stretching from the mainland to the city's walls. This allowed his siege engines to attack the enemy fortress directly, though it was his navy which ultimately created a breach. I don't know why it's so dark. The, the words are so dark here. It's hard to see them. Uh, so no amount of water will stop my armies, in which case we'll get the Forder trait. Uh, we are patient, so we probably can't go for that one. And instead, we can say the causeway was a great feat, or was a feat of great ingenuity, which will get us the military engineer, which is a very tra useful trait to have. Uh, turning my foes' resources against them, brilliant. Can't do that because we're generous. So I think we have to do this one, which is which is a good one to have as well. I mean, honestly, uh, the Reaver is not that great anyway. Uh, for us. The Forder is helpful though. Uh, but yeah, I think that this one's probably the best option anyway. That's the one we do have to go for due to our traits. Alright, so almost out of debt. About three months uh, and then we'll be out. And we might actually be able to get some agents this time. Yeah, we might be able to get uh, one or maybe one, maybe two agents uh, before we try and conduct that. If any of them are even willing to do it. Uh, what is that to see? Uh, so, in our recent communication with our uncle, Prince Aristarchus, expressed a want to focus on his ambitions and interests more. All right, well, let's see which one we might want to do uh, based on his traits. He is content, compassionate, and gregarious, and uh, very much focused on diplomacy here. Uh, so, it would make sense to go for that one. Uh, surely he enjoys subterfuge and intrigue. Yeah, I think that this is probably the, the closest one for him. Makes sense. He's very much into diplomacy. He's fantastic when it comes to diplomacy. Uh, in his response, my uncle Prince Aristarchus encouraged my slight dip into more personal topics. What a treat that he is also interested in diplomacy. So we got another 10 plus opinion increase with him. We're at plus 41 right now, 72% chance to sway. Okay. So one more month, we'll finally be out of debt here. And we have been invited to a feast here, and I don't see any reason not to, to go. He doesn't like us, so increasing opinion with him would be helpful. So we'll say, it'll be my pleasure. Hopefully we don't get fat all these feasts that we're going to here in our old age. All right, so this better be worth our time. And how old is our son so we can give this title to him? He's 15, so he'll be of age soon. Uh, the one problem, though, is I'm trying to arrange this marriage for him as well. And I don't know how far we are from completing that. We're 60% here, seven months. So we're seven months away. Uh, subtly judgment. Uh, as the count eyes widens at my words, I realize what I've just admitted to. I struggle to push my tankard away. Uh, so did he just find out our secret? Yeah, he did. All right, so I assume he might try and blackmail us for a hook. What does that see what he does there? And looks like we did get... Uh, we did have some stress release, and we did increase the opinion with everybody, because we're the life of the party. So there's another war against the Empress, and attacked by this Duke here. And where is he the Duke of? He's the Duke of this area here. What is the conflict over? Okay, so it's over her tyranny, and if he wins, then he deposes her. And I think that results in... in her daughter taking over, which I suppose would be fine. Yeah, we're absolutely okay with that. And then uh, that would make our, our son an heir, officially the emperor, though, so that would be a problem because then we wouldn't be able to give him any titles. And there's really not much I can do about that, honestly, other than giving him, like... Because the only thing we can give him is counties here. That's the only thing we're allowed to give him. So I guess we could give him one of our counties here... I prefer not to, though, because uh, this is our, our core area here. But yeah, we could give him a county there to make sure he stays in our realm. I guess we'll watch how the, the war progresses and it looks like the Empress is going to lose, then maybe we'll have to do that. Our son did come of age. Excellent. Uh, what did he get? He got the skilled tactician. All right, fantastic. He's also going to be reckless. Personally, I feel like that's one of the worst combat uh, commander traits, so... That's eh, unfortunate he got that. But uh, at least he did well in his, his education. So there's that. Uh, is he a knight right now? 
Yeah, he should be a knight. His prowess is pretty darn good. So yeah, he's one of our knights. Uh, remember, we'll arrange the marriage for him in a bit. Uh, we're going to try and make this happen. Let's see what happens here. We do have a bit of uh, money, but not enough to to get anybody as an agent. And it looks like our daughter, or excuse me, it looks like our son, our daughter-in-law, has had another daughter. All right, so let's just find a good name. Maybe after an ancestor. Well, we did Constance a few times, so sure. I'll just keep using the same name. Uh, so we have finished up the feast and lost some more stress and increased our opinion. So we're going to a lot of feast here. Seems like everybody's throwing feast after our successful wars. And looks like he is going to attempt to blackmail us here. And that would give him a strong hook on us. And I'm going to decline and he can reveal that I was involved in the, the attempted murder. Yeah, I don't think we would... There's really nothing to indicate that we would give this to him. Uh, so yeah, we're going to decline. And now I'm angry with him. But you know what? He's a, been a problem. He's been a problem for some time. I knew he's going to be an issue. You know, he wants to see it on our council. And we don't want to give him one. I mean, he's not. it's not that he's bad at anything. It's just Aristarchus is much better at diplomacy, which is his key here. And then we don't want to make him our spy master when he dislikes us so much. Uh, we're not able to sway Aristarchus again. We have a 72% chance. So we're going to try it one more time. Yeah, we'll let it go one more time, guys. And see if we can be successful in that. Uh, and I'm really hoping that this time we'll be successful in the attempt, attempt to assassinate him. We have enough money to see... And we got the rise of the Mongols. Uh, we got enough money to, to see if we can't get any agents involved. Yes, there are a few. Uh, not many. Let me just see here. So, I think she would be willing to go in if we just had 112 gold. Uh, and she would be the one that would increase it the most because she's a spy master. So, she's the one we really want to get involved. So, let's get 112 gold. We have four months left before this fires. So, we do have time to get the 112 gold. There we go. Let's try now. And she will be willing to join. So let's go ahead and bribe her. And then that should result in us uh, being successful in this assassination attempt. So basically, as soon as we are successful, we need to try and arrange the betrothal. Yeah, she is almost of age here. And oh no, Aristarchus just died. What did he die from? He drank himself to death. All right, so Aristarchus is... No longer on our council, so that opens up a council position. And that position has gone to his, I believe this is his eldest son. Yeah, it's gone to his eldest son here. And he is now the duke, and his younger brother, who's named after their father, Aristarchus. Uh, although, wasn't his father, Ar yeah, it was Aristarchus. Okay, so very similar name, but not exact. Uh, he has taken over as a count here. What about the other characters? Yeah, they didn't get anything. So he has the county that we gave him, of course. While the third son didn't get anything. Alright, so we have a new character here, and that's our powerful vassal. And he's a beautiful scholar. He's also a mastermind philosopher as well. Deceitful, trusting, and content. <laughs> he's deceitful and trusting. Great. Uh, so, I guess um, this increases the opinion with Liege, and he's still still really dislikes us so he wants that position on the council and there's really no great position for him yeah the diplomacy is pretty low there let's take a look at our council see what we want to do here uh, we could always make him our spy master uh, we could also do him but of course he doesn't like us and he tried to blackmail us so screw him uh, he would be slightly better though uh, we still need a chancellor and he is actually pretty good as a chancellor you know what, we'll try and get the opinion up with this count, even if he did uh, try and blackmail us. Yeah, we'll try. He's really young, so... And that's really what he's best at. So yeah, we'll go and assign him there. That did increase his opinion by quite a bit, and he is terrified of us as well. So there is that. Uh, with the, the spy master position, we could always replace uh, this character here and uh, go ahead and put our, our cousin in place. And I really feel like we should because he's so powerful. Uh, it makes sense. And, and I know he doesn't like us. Uh, but a big hit of that is the wants, wanting the seat on the council. So let's go ahead and do that. And yeah, he's still going to dislike us, which means we should probably focus on swaying him first. He'd be the best one to, to sway here initially. 92% chance of success. So that should end up working out nicely. All right, so just waiting for uh, this 
scheme to, to finish up here. Oh, just got ourselves somebody with a claim here. One more month until this is done. You know what? I accidentally accepted that blackmail, didn't I? Damn it. I meant to decline it, man. I've just been fucking up <laughs> regularly, haven't I? Damn, man. Yeah, if I made that big mistake last episode and then I accidentally accepted this, and of course that resulted in him changing his feudal obligations. But most importantly, he has a strong hook, so he, he's always going to have it. And I didn't really care if that that was uh, uh, revealed that we attempted murder there. So that's really unfortunate. Yeah. All right. That's a real bummer. I, I meant to decline, and I, I had it where I was looking at the effects of declining, but then I went and accepted it. That's just brilliant. It does look like we have a new event happening here for the assassination. The time has come. My agents are in place. One of them will pay the assassin the very night the deed will happen. Another will ensure the wall is unguarded. A third will leave a subtle trail of candles to his bedchamber. Everything is in place. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and do it. Let's hope it's successful. And it's been thwarted with a 95% chance of success. <laughs> the assassin made it inside the castle but did not reach his chambers. When she was spotted and the alarm was raised, the assassin immediately made her escape and has not been heard from since. Does that mean we also lose our agent? I'm not entirely sure here, but he's going to be watchful now. And we've already had an attempted murder secret on him. Yeah, so we'll do it again. That was a 95% chance of success, and yet we still failed. That's ridiculous, man. <laughs> and that means we will not get it done before they get married. And we were removed as Spymaster as well. We're her most powerful vassal, so you'd think she'd put us on somewhere on her council. Uh, I know we're not great at being a Spymaster, we're just average, but yeah. You'd think we'd get a, a seat on the council here. Um, and somebody else joined as our agent, so, I mean, it doesn't change the fact that we're 95% chance of success here. Yeah, very, very strange, though, that we failed that time. Just very bad luck, honestly. When the time comes, my agents will need a safe escape route out of the king's castle, should anything go wrong. A detailed map of the local... Okay, so we've seen this event before. Of course, by bringing somebody into it, uh, it does result in chance that they'll reveal it. It's only a 73% chance that he'll be discreet. With the way the percentages have been going right now, though, maybe we shouldn't do that. Uh, here, we have a 60% chance of being successful. 30% chance that we'll uh, get stressed out. Okay, or we can just abandon it entirely, but because we're diligent, we won't do that. So I guess we'll do it ourselves. I guess it makes sense as a diligent character. Yeah, I don't think it's uh, wise to get anybody else involved here. We did gain stress because we got lost. Okay, it's unfortunate. But yeah, I think with the way our percentages have been going on this event, I just don't, you know, a 60% chance we failed. Okay, I can get that, I suppose, even though you have a higher chance of success than failure, but then a 95% chance of, of success and then you fell. Yeah, that's that's really bad. We're having some, some very bad luck with this. Uh, so plush and exotic carpet, another one we've seen before. We can uh, say he'll be honored by such a gift. Or you say it will look good, uh, great in my rooms. Again, it's some more prestige. And he might suspect that something is off. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and do that. And he was uh, suspect. He did suspect that something was off. It didn't really change anything here, though, because of our extra agents and the fact that we have a spy master as an agent. That's helping us out quite a bit as, as well. All right, and we did lose the princess here because she died. Okay, so now we're, we're a bit lower. Try and get somebody else involved, and we should, because 73% chance with our luck is just not good enough. So we're going to have to throw more money at this damn scheme. This scheme has been way more difficult than expected. And they would have married now as well. Um, let's take a look here. Uh, so yeah, they are married now. She's not pregnant yet, but yeah, if she has uh, any children, then it's going to cause trouble with this plot. It's just uh, been way more difficult uh, than I expected. Uh, he did join the plot. I don't think that's enough to get us, you know, not at the highest rate, but pretty close. 94% chance here. Uh, the Empress did win that war, by the way, which is good. Uh, you know, if, if her her daughter wouldn't put it on the throne, though, it wouldn't have been a bad thing. Hold up, before we read this, what the hell happened here? Our son, and this is our eldest son, he did have two children. Huh. It looks like his wife died. How'd she die? Mysterious circumstances, we don't know. 
All right, so that did result in him remarrying to this old woman. Uh, okay, she's uh, quite a bit young, or quite a bit older than him. They did have two children together. Maybe they had twins. No, they didn't have not have twins. They have one ugly child here, th their eldest, who is now the Duke of Bulgaria. He is of our dynasty, so that's helpful. But this is not working quite the way I wanted it to, unfortunately. Yeah. Uh, so basically, this results. This is just overall a bad thing. Mm hmm. Yeah. What's going to end up happening? I, I don't know exactly what happens. I was. It's always. Uh, I'm always a little bit unsure exactly how the inheritance will work with who uh, ends up being whose vassal. But what I think is going to happen here is that when our son inherits, you know, he gets all these titles here. But then when he dies, then I mean, he inherits that next. You know, he'll inherit his titles but then what happens does he stay in bulgaria and then we lose control of this uh you know, this duchy or does he then become our vassal since we're king i'm not entirely sure how that would work i kind of feel like it result in us losing it now uh, overall just everything seems to not quite be working the way that i'd want it to um anyway his other son did become the count here he's the more intelligent of the of the two uh so just not going quite the way I'd, I'd like over there. Everything's kind of going quite negative, actually. Uh, thick as thieves. As of late, I often see my son and heir, uh, uh, Komitas, and my cousin, the Duke Samuel, uh, around the castle, deep in conversation. They truly seem to have found common ground. Uh, so, I'll increase their opinion. Uh, if we say, to see a friendship grow, I will help it bloom. Or we say, they cannot, this can't, they cannot be up to any good. This ends now. Or so, what are you talking about? And then we try and get involved in it. Uh, so, I think we'd just say that we're glad to see a friendship grow here. And, of course, this is the Duke here. So, it's probably a good thing if they are, are friends, since this, eventually he'll be his lord. So, yeah, we'll, we'll do that. And, yeah, I don't know why he married such an older woman. They won't be having any more kids, though. Uh, we can go ahead and, and spend our, our uh, piety to get some money, which we desperately need. So, we're going to do that. Also, we haven't looked at the prisoners for a while, so they might actually have some money for us. Uh, let's just take a look. He's still in debt, so we'll just keep all his prisoners, I suppose. But there are other prisoners. They could be ransom off. Yeah, so we'll ransom him for 10 gold. Looks like the count here wouldn't accept this, so we'll just gain the we cook instead. And same thing with this boy here. Let's demand his conversion, gain a we cook. Might come into play later, I suppose. Although, maybe not. He's pretty young. And still waiting for that Serbian king to get some damn money. Uh, so that's a big chunk of money right there. Uh, let's just take a look and see if we want. I don't think there's any point of getting another agent just to get it up to 95% chance there. A uh, big problem here, man, is these. Uh, let's go ahead and build somewhere with this money that we have. I guess we'll build here. You want to improve one of these? Uh, probably something for money would be the best thing to get. Improve the, the mines here. And we'll be able to construct a little bit quicker. Also increases the county growth. Uh, you know, the development. And gets us a little bit more money. Not much, though. There's not anything that I think is going to get us more, though. No. So, yeah, we're going to get this upgraded, then. And that ransom was accepted. Excellent. And I'm gonna get some hooks. But yeah, this is uh last couple episodes, man. We had nothing but bad luck. And then me making mistakes, you combine the mistakes with the bad luck. And uh things are rough, man. But hopefully this uh this is successful, man, because if we fell again after three damn times. Now uh, we were not able to sway him. It's unfortunate. Uh and, and we have a pretty good chance there too. Ninety two percent chance of success. These percentages, man, they seem off. Uh, we can do some stuff here. We'll take a look at this in a minute. Let's slow this down. We're gonna wanna pause this as well. Slow this uh, down here so that we're able to quickly arrange a marriage if we are successful. My agents have prepared for weeks. The cook has been bribed to look the other way and the poison has been acquired and the duck was gifted to him alone. He'll be rubbed with the poison and the bed of herbs will mask the smell as it is served. The uh, deadly bitterness will be the last thing my target ever tastes. All right, well, let's see if we're successful. 94% <laughs> chance. Thanks to the duck and the poison vial, he is finally dead. Even better, in his death throes, a bone got stuck in his throat. Now it's unclear exactly what killed him at all. 
All right, so that worked out quite well for us. Died under suspicious circumstances, but we did it. Uh, so now we still don't have a, a hook on him though. I'm just hoping that we can arrange a marriage here, that we can force this. They didn't have any kids together. She didn't get pregnant. Um, they will be willing to accept it though. All right, excellent. And this would not be a, a matrilineal marriage either. Uh, and I think a big uh, bonus there is the, well, him wanting alliance helps, but the promising prospects, uh, plus 25 there, is helping quite a bit. Uh, so yeah, now we can arrange a marriage, and I believe she still is the heir, right? Let me just double check this. Uh, no. So now he has a son, and that's the reason why he's willing to do this. All right, well, let's just see. She's still set to be second to inherit, so there's going to be some assassination needed, guys. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and, and uh, arrange the marriage for her. Just getting more and more difficult, but at least we can now do this, uh, which was definitely a risk that he wouldn't have accepted it. Uh, so let's go ahead and send the proposal off. We also get an alliance with him, so there's something from this, and he's, he's fairly powerful with his 3,400 men, so it's a good alliance too, uh, even if we aren't able to get ourselves onto the throne here. Uh, but let's go ahead and start the assassinating of uh, these characters. He has a nice young wife now, so we should probably take him out first. Not a good chance to success, but remember we do have a lot of secrets in his court. Uh, so let's go and start the scheme. I right, could have waited till well, we actually have money. Never mind. I was gonna say we could have waited to get more money, but we're doing pretty good when it comes to money. Uh, can't get anybody here in the top. I'm looking for people who we have secrets on, uh, so we can go ahead and, and blackmail them. Let's go and blackmail this guy here, and we'll have to close that to make that work. 80% uh, chance of success, so let's go and blackmail him. We'll see if there's anybody else. I know we have quite a few, so let's go and blackmail this character as well. 80% chance of success there. And I guess that's it. There's only two. I thought we had a bit more. Maybe they're dead or left a court or something. All right, so that'll help when they accept. We'll bring them in. Uh, the marriage was accepted as well. We now have an alliance with them. All right, so let's go ahead and get those two as agents. Uh, wait a minute. He's still considering our offer. You can bring this guy in, though. Let's go ahead and use that hook and invite him to the scheme. All right, so let's go ahead and get him in here. And we'll see how we're looking once we got both of them in. See if we need to bribe anybody. I'm hoping we don't have to, but we do have the money if, if necessary. We're at 85%. I want that to, to be successful, and given how our odds are going, let's go ahead and bribe him. It's going to be 150 gold, so it's not cheap. That should get us up to 95%. Make sure that it's successful. And, you know, one advantage is that we do increase the scheme progress rate, so, you know, we get it done quicker. All right, um, is there anything to build here in the capital? I do want to increase the size here, but we don't have the, the tech yet. It's also too expensive. All right, so uh, we're still trying to sway him, and we need to now get more personal. Let's see what he's into. Uh, it does seem that the intrigue is the highest. Uh, we say, I believe nothing entices him like a good book. He, actually, learning is the highest. I completely neglected that. So that definitely seems what he likes the most. So let's go with that one. Our learning is decent as well. And he was encouraged by it. Excellent. Got an increase of opinion there, and that puts us at, uh, looks like we are plus, or excuse me, negative eight. It's still pretty low. All right, let's go ahead and speed this up. And let's hope they don't have any more sons here, or daughters for that matter. Because uh, every kid that, that they have, we have to assassinate. Well, also, now that our son is married, we can go ahead and give him this title here and get rid of this penalty that we've been getting. Uh, I completely forgot about that. I wanted to get him married first. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and, and grant him uh, the title here with the the duchy title. And I think that's what he's set to inherit. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to give him that. I know it increases his opinion by quite a bit. And is he a powerful vassal? I don't know. If he is, he's got okay Marshall, but I don't think he's better than our current Marshall, which is our brother. Uh, is he good at anything else? 
He could be better at, no, no, he wouldn't be better at diplomacy, but yeah, he's not, he's, he's average at everything. He's overall not a bad character. He's got pretty good uh, stats there. So we did get a Marshall perk available, uh, but the, uh, it looks like the murders, well, we're about halfway here. Uh, so this is about the detailed map. Uh, we could do that again. Yeah, we'll just try and do it ourselves since we're uh, diligent, so we don't want to abandon it. And we got lost, <laughs> getting ill. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Uh, so we are now ill, and we are older guy as well, so that's going to impact us. Um, our wife was captured. She's taken prisoner. Uh, she, looks like she's got a war going on, perhaps? Or she had a war going on. Or her liege had a war going on, and, and then, you know, whoever it was fighting attacked her castle and then captured her. All right, so that's not good. So I didn't get the perks. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. Uh, we can increase our opinion with the spouse, uh, get the king's guard, get higher number of knights. See what other options are available here. Uh, the army gold maintenance would be really helpful since our army's pretty damn expensive. Yeah, I think that might be the one we're gonna go for next. We'll go this way and start moving down this route. Cause yeah, I think, uh, I think getting the more peace oriented ones would be more helpful at this moment. Although I do wanna go to war eventually. But I want to get this uh, this situation over here dealt with first. Uh, so our niece has been showing the signs of pregnancy for some time now, and everyone thought that her husband was the father of the child. It's been cl become clear that the real father of the bee is none other than Greg Gregorios. <laughs> oh my, what a scandal. Uh, so now everybody knows. And whose daughter is this? Okay, that's our brother. I'm not sure if it was our brother's daughter or sister. Uh, so we got another guest of the ride that has a claim to a duchy. There's a lot of stuff we could do war-wise here, guys, but I do want to get this scheme done first. I'm really just kind of focusing on this. And it doesn't help hurt to uh, increase our funds a bit as well. Uh, there's some alliances that could be negotiated. Uh, the the count up here could negotiate an alliance with them. I don't think that's that's worth it, but with the Duke of Bulgaria, I think we should negotiate an alliance there. I think that'd be wise. All right, so we have the alliance set off there. A lot of different wars we can do right now. Which titles are we set to inherit? Oh, so we are actually set to inherit all these titles over here. If, say, somebody was to, to die here. Um, so our son would be the first to inherit for his son. And then it would be his other son. Interesting. So the better option is after he inherited those titles. Um, can we get... We can grant him these titles now. He is back in our court. All right, so yeah, we could go ahead and grant him these titles here. Though giving those up would, of course, hmm. I, I think this would just result, yeah, if he, I think if he died, if the boy died, but I don't know that our character would do that. That's pretty awful. Yeah, I don't know that our, our character would do that. But if the boy did die, it would go to our son, and then everything would work out better, uh, frankly. But yeah, I just don't think we would uh, attempt to murder I don't know. What do you guys think? I, I just don't think that our character would do that. Murder her own grandson. And it also doesn't make any sense. Yeah, I don't think we'd do that here in a roleplay series. Now, if we weren't roleplaying, then I'd kill him in RB so that our son would get the title and then we'd inherit all of Bulgaria. All of this would go to, you know, us eventually. So, yeah, that would be... Uh, it doesn't go to our line, of course, but I mean it goes into under the kingdom of Greece is what I mean. So, yeah, that would be really beneficial, but... Uh, yeah, uh, I'm honestly, that's not going to uh, work in a role play, guys. I just don't think that's very fitting. I'd love to hear your guys' opinion on it, but yeah, I just don't think it's fitting to try and kill our, our own grandson. Uh, so we did increase his opinion by a little bit, right, plus 42, but we'll keep it going if we have a good chance to success, which we do. So yeah, we'll keep it going. Uh, three more months for that assassination. I don't know if they've had any other kids. That'd be good to know. Uh, not yet. All right, so our agent approaches us with a bunch of parchment clutched in his hands. He found old architectural sketches of the Duke's castle. They might be a bit outdated, but look here. So we can say this looks like a tunnel we can use. Or if only I had this many hidden places, call the mason. In which case we can get our own stuff going here. I mean, it's, it's pretty close to progressing anyway. Maybe we'll take inspiration by this. See, there's no reason to think, think that we win it. How long do you get it? You get it for 10 years. Uh, scheme resistance plus eight. Yeah, let's do that. 
I mean, I don't really feel like we need to have this scheme progress any further when we're sitting at just two months away here. Uh, we already have very good uh, odds of success as well. Uh, one of my agents has acquired a deadly spider and acquired and arranged for a servant to hide it in the duke's bed before dark. All they need is my go-ahead, and he will be as good as dead the moment the spider strikes. All right, so let's hope we're successful here. And he is dead. In the lethal bite of a deadly spider. The spider struck not long after he retired to his chambers, and although guards were called, no one could do a thing to save him. Thankfully, spiders do not talk, so the attack could not be traced back to me. All right, so with that done, so that has two results. Of course, it does result in his boy inheriting, uh, and that is, uh, you know, obviously a good thing. We can assassinate him now, and then uh, and we have a lot of time to do it. And then that will result in the Duchess, uh, you know, our uh, daughter-in-law taking over, uh, which is exactly what we want. They're also pregnant, so that's good news, too. So they're already getting busy. Uh, but the other result of this is that it ended our alliance here, and I don't think we could set up another one either. Uh, because we're married to his his aunt. Uh, so let's go ahead and do the murder now. 46% chance of success. Not quite as high as I'd like. Uh, but we did get an agent immediately, so that's helpful. Uh, got us up to 46% chance. So is there anybody that we can get involved here? Seems that that's a no. Uh, except for this guy, the mayor, with a bribe of 137 gold. That is not cheap. And even if we got both of these involved... Yeah, and we really need somebody much, much better here. I guess none of them are very high rates. All right, yeah, whatever. We'll just bribe with what money we have here. I'm going to bribe both of them and see where that gets us at success chance rate. We're at 69, now it's at 90. That's good enough. 11 months to get the assassination done, and all of our plotting will finally have paid off. Uh, good God to take a while. And... We have prisoners that can now finally be ransomed. It seems the king of Serbia finally has the money. He has 14 gold. Uh, so we'd only be able to ransom one character off. And we could get a lot more for these characters. Yeah, 50, 100 gold there. I think it was 100. Maybe it was 200, actually. Yeah, 200 gold there. Uh, we could get up to 50 here. How about for these characters? 50 there. And 50 there. So let's just hold on to it for a little while. And... It is now, uh, we've now been uh, offered another spot on the council, this time as the Chancellor. Our diplomacy is pretty good. Uh, again, I'd prefer to be the Marshal, but it looks like that spot's already taken. So we're just going to accept that position. And then as far as what we're getting from that, we're getting that prestige, which is always nice. Our vassals will like us more. And that's about it. That's pretty much all we're getting that from that. Uh, and those are our fellow vassals. So her, her vassals. So it's honestly not that big of a boost, but it does help with the prestige. And we're already at illustrious here. And an agent was removed from the scheme. Damn it, we like just paid that damn guy. Well, that's unfortunate. And luckily he was not one of the better agents that we had on there. He might have actually not have been one that we paid for. I'm not entirely sure. That could have been the one that went on his own. Uh, we can convince this guy to join. And because he's a spy master, he's going to increase it by a lot. So uh, let's go ahead and do that. Just to make sure we're successful here, guys. That's the best agent you can get. All right, so with that, it should be a success. And uh, once he's been removed, hmm, we got a possible hook on his grandmother, but I don't think we can force her in. I could be wrong, but I think she would have been in here. Yeah, you can't force her in there. I didn't think so. Um, we lost the ill trait, so that's good. She might not also. She also might not be in his court. Uh, so yeah, we're no longer ill. Excellent. I was a little bit worried about that with us being 60 years old here. Our health is still ailing, though. So I don't know how much longer we are going to live. Uh, so I'm really hoping we can get this assassination done before then. Uh, we did complete the water mills, and we also swayed the Duke. Uh, so do we want to keep doing this? 72% chance of success, but it's pretty high. So I think we should go ahead and work on somebody else that doesn't like us. Maybe this count here. And we actually got it much higher than I would have expected us to get it. He really didn't like us there for a while. So let's go and attempt to sway him. How does our spy... That it was our spy master. All right, so he's he's feeling pretty good about us. So that works. So we're looking at, what, three months now before we get the assassination done. And the scheme was discovered. Damn it. But we still have very good success chance despite it. And, and a big part of that is because that spy master being involved. 
Uh, but if we wanted to make sure that we were successful, we could always do one more bribe here. And I don't know if there's any that are going to be cheaper than that. This guy's 55. He's probably the best option. And uh, success chance isn't that much lower. So yeah, let's do the 55 gold. And I said he, but this is a she. So we'll get her involved to, to increase that rate up. Uh, but yeah, we're still able to, to succeed there. Despite it being discovered. So it's come to my attention that some local commoners are moving to uh, this guy's court here. And locals, newly settled or not, praising me can surely do no harm to his perception of me. Uh, this will cost us 95 gold. Sure, why not? We're going to knock that out. We're very, very generous with our funds. Just kind of throw them out there. In fact, I feel like there's more people could use some rewards. Uh, we did get a ransom offer. What offer? What are we getting? It doesn't tell us how much money. Huh. Yeah, we're going to have to decline that. Cause, uh, maybe if you hovered over the little alert, maybe that would have told me. I'm not entirely sure uh, what was going on there. Uh, but let's go ahead and, and ransom off. Okay, so he's ransoming her off. So there's no way that it would have been in as much money as we could get because he only has 60 gold. So let's do it for one of these 50 gold ones. I'm just kind of slowly ransom off all the people that are there. Uh, it does look like the Duke of Bulgaria, the boy, our grandson, uh has called us, you know, called our alliance into this liberty war. All right, so who's who's attacking him? Just some of the countess, the counts and, and countesses here. All right, we'll we'll go and accept. I don't know if we'll need to help him or not. Now, let's just take a look and see uh, how the the numbers look. So the attackers have 3100. Okay, so he doesn't have anywhere near enough troops to to defend himself. So we will have to to unfortunately get involved in that. All right, so that's kind of a shame. Uh, our army's already over here. We could potentially win this war very quickly, though. Uh, so let's go ahead and raise up. Although, actually, let's move it a little bit closer. Um, I just I ain't worried about their, their troop numbers here, guys. Uh, so let's go ahead and raise these guys up. And looks like it's going to take quite a while for those two to raise up. They did raise up in two locations as well. So... Here's the assassination attempt. Uh, it is hard to find a man willing to raise a hand against an infant, but to find one willing to place a snake in a cradle is much easier. I watch my agent stuff the viper into a small bag and shiver. The thing is almost as big as its future victim. Uh, so, this is going to be expensive. Damn, man. Alright, so because we're murdering a child, I think that's the reason why it's so damn expensive. So that's unfortunate. We're already in debt, and we just started this, this war. Uh, that's, yeah, that's quite bad uh, so uh, does he have any more money for us he has 10 gold uh, not enough all right is what it is man indeed he's done and he is now dead uh, we did gain critical stress level from this uh, so we could go ahead and and try and get rid of that real quick uh, but we don't have any money uh, so it's not an option yeah we're so broke uh, we were able to find form an alliance with the Duchess of course she's now taken over and uh, this should now result in our dynasty taking over this title as well. Uh, right now they just have a, a daughter. And uh, hopefully they have many more, more children here uh, to secure our dynasty onto this throne. Uh, so this is, of course, our youngest son. So our oldest son is getting into Bulgaria. He's not there right now, but his children are there. Our uh, third son is over here, and our second son is is going to be married to the Empress. Uh, so yeah, we will go critical here, which is unfortunate. A lot of stuff happening here right at our, our old age. So that's unfortunate. And, and I'm surprised by how long it's taken those guys to raise up. Uh, so the mental break event we have is imposter. Recently, I feel like I'm not worthy of the king of Greece. Do other rulers doubt themselves as I doubt myself? I try to be a good, generous king, but no matter how much I give away, there's always someone else with a begging bowl outside the walls. Others of my station do not seem to have these problems. Damn this universe for raising one so poor as me to such heights. So we can say charity makes me a better person, right? And then we'll gain that trait, which will hurt our monthly income even further. Lose a little bit of stress and lose a ton of money. Wow, that's a lot of money. I would say tell the cook to stop making my dinner. I don't want it. Okay. I feel like 
or you say I'm just as good as Ress. Um, I feel like as as a generous character here, I kind of feel like we have to go with this route. Yeah, I think that you know, obviously this hits us hard, like really hard, and we lose even more money. I mean, yeah, this is really really bad. But I feel like this is what our character would do. He's there at the end of his life, and I think that's what he's so concerned about. So yeah, that, I think this is what we're gonna do. So we are in deep, deep in debt now. Again, and the war just started, and we're losing money every month. Uh, so we need to get this over quickly. So let's go ahead and get these guys merged here, and then set, separate them and, and set up our own armies. We're gonna try and uh, just win as quickly as we can. Uh, so let's go ahead and get like two sieging armies, I think, is, is all that's going to be necessary. And I don't know how large their armies are, but 2,000 should hopefully be enough. And let me see who's currently leading. I, I think we'd probably make a better leader. So let's go ahead and put ourselves in charge. And plus we'd be good at, at sieges too, so we could use that to our advantage a bit later here. Uh, and with that in mind, actually, let's go ahead and reorganize these then. And throw one of those back over here. And then we'll just take, I don't know, a few men here. Uh, so let's go ahead and get somebody in charge. Place this guy in charge. Uh, as far as locations of siege, there are three locations. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and take another 2,000 men out of here. I'll go ahead and give them that one. And maybe this one here. Maybe a 100 more dudes here. There we go. Get somebody in charge. And so what we're going to want to do is go ahead and siege these two locations down. While well, this guy's going to move over here and attempt to engage this army here. Uh, or these two armies. Maybe at the same time if we can. So they're moving up north here. I'm not entirely sure what they're doing. Uh, we could win there. Now, with us being a year in debt, we're going to get a significant penalty. So... We don't want to be attacking in the mountains across the river. That'd be so silly. So let's just wait and see what they do. All right, so let's go here. And they might come down here to attack us. Our two sieges will be done in three months, each of them? No, three and four. We could ha go ahead and do this siege here, but I think we need to... Uh, yeah, I think we should be trying to fight these guys. It's the best way to, to win this war quickly. We'll let somebody else do the siege. Uh, unless we can get it done, uh, get the siege done quickly. And we've been called into another conflict. This is with our uh, our son and his wife. Uh, they've been attacked. And it's another Liberty War, man. All right, so we'll accept it. So un unfortunately, we're getting pulled into all these these wars with our, our sons and our, and our grandson trying to keep their, their titles here. Uh, we're looking at three months to get that done. If they move up north and, and shoot, we'll just do all three sieges at the same time, and, and that'll be enough to, to win the conflict. Yeah, I guess that's the way we'll do it. I thought they'd come down here and attack us, but it looks like they did not do that. Uh, we're looking at a liberty faction ourselves. And of course, it'd be him to, to cause that trouble with us. Wouldn't we just give him that title? And with that siege one, we're at 37%. Got 31 gold. I uh, did take some prisoners in the siege. Uh, let me just take a look, see if he's got any money for us. 37. We'll just wait until it gets a little bit higher. Uh, we can take a look at the new prisoner we just got, though. And yeah, we can get 10 gold. Anything helps when you're 500 gold in debt. Uh, so I think, yeah, with these sieges done here, that should be enough. I don't think we'll have to take that barony. We'll just have these guys retreat. That's a little bit more money for us and some more people in our dungeon to be ransomed. And we'll have to wait to do that one. And we can just kind of move them out. And 55%, I do think taking the capital here will be enough to get the win. Uh, the ransom was accepted here. So let's go ahead and uh, ransom off that one prisoner, I think, for 25 gold. Yeah. And almost done with the siege here. And that should be the end of the this conflict here but then we got another conflict that we're probably gonna have to help out in because I do not expect her to be able to win on her own she's facing almost 8,000 men here rebelling against her and while she has 16,000 majority of those are our men so not good 
Not good, guys. So now we gotta get involved in that conflict, too. We did get urbanization. Excellent. Uh, so the benefits of that allows us to get to the 55 development, which we're nowhere near that, so not really gonna help us much. Uh, we did finish up that siege. That gets us up to 100%. Got us 29 gold as well, and got us more prisoners. So let's go ahead and ransom that prisoner. And then we're going to have to go and attack these guys now, which that'll be this army doing that. So let's get the hell out of here. And hopefully they end this war quickly. Uh, we're also able to sway the count. Excellent. We're going to keep that going uh, as long as it's a good chance. 95% chance. Fantastic. Uh, but yeah, we're just so deep in debt right now, guys. Uh, and it looks like the war is not over now. Ah, uh, damn. All right. I'm not entirely sure what happened there. Uh, are we looking at... Yeah, we might have to go and attack them over there. Now, this siege here is going to be done in two years. That's too damn long, frankly. Let's go over here. And let's have these guys come up this way. In fact, we'll have these guys come up this way. I want to get involved in the next conflict to get that started, but... Yeah, uh, it doesn't look like we're going to be able to do that just yet, since we've got to finish this one up. I'm not entirely sure what happened. I don't know if they won a, a battle or something. Yeah, I'm not sure how they got the uh, the war score to take down. So, camp dispute. Uh, so we've had this event happen many times before. This is between our knight and a count. So we can deliver a speech about unity of the crowd. 74% chance of success. Uh, we can have them whipped for their delinquency. I don't really think we're that type. Or because they saw this, I'm going to my tent. We can't do that either because he's diligent. So it's really the only choice here. So we'll do that and see if we're successful. And unfortunately, we failed. Uh, so we can join in. 61 years old. I don't know that we would. Yeah, I really don't think we would join into this. Uh, so we're going to just say, what a mess. We did a bit too old, I think. And while we are a martial-minded character, yeah, I just, I just don't think we would have joined in on that. All right, so they are now running. Uh, so, can we, we catch him? That's the question. We can. Uh, so let's attack him. And, and just get this done with. And then we'll be able to focus solely on this other conflict here. And we also got more people captured, so it's helpful. Uh, we only lost 23 dudes as well, so it won't affect us too much in this other battle. Alright, excellent. Uh, so let's go ahead and move down here now. And, uh, we'll get involved in this other conflict, which we're currently winning... And so yeah, we were able to finish this up. Excellent. They had to rest everybody and we secured the Bulgarian throne. Uh, the, the Count wants an alliance here. I don't think we're going to do that. Mainly because I'm worried about the uh, the penalty for having too many alliances when we start negotiating marriages with other characters and stuff. Uh, so this guy's going to come all the way over here and then we'll start moving these ones down here. And they'll come over here and start sieging these enemy uh, provinces, but of course we got to get these guys in front. All right. Uh, so yeah, because we're in, in deep debt here, we're gonna start getting these penalties again, and it just sucks because we're very close to, to losing those penalties. Decline that. Uh, that we have in all these provinces that we got the first damn time, and, and are hitting us hard on the on the money. So yeah, just very unfortunate. Uh, so as far as the, the places the siege, we have one location here, one here, and one right here. All of them would be fairly quick. Uh, but again, we do need our army leading the charge here. Uh, I think that there's bound to be a battle there. I don't, I don't think we're gonna get there in time. Let's go ahead and move in here. We won't take any attrition. So they're currently chasing them down. So that means we can go in and throw our armies into these attacks now. And we did get another martial perk. Excellent. I think we have a few warfare-minded ones we could go for. Uh, actually, we should probably go for the army gold main hits here because we are in uh, deep shit when it comes to our money right now. So that'll uh, help us out quite a bit. But man, we're deep in debt. Good God. It's been rough, man. And, and this time, we don't even have uh, the problem of the holdings. Uh, it looks like they're going to win this battle here, unfortunately. So that's going to result in a war score going into the negative here. We do outnumber them now, though, so that's a positive. 
And then I'm going to try and get them to engage us in a battle somewhere. I don't want them coming down here and attacking our siege armies. Uh, where we can get the win here by just sieging down their provinces. And as long as we're yeah, uh, in their territory, it looks like we should have good supply. So we're going to make them go all the way around here. Kind of shadow them, make it so they can't, can't attack anywhere. Can't take down any of our siege armies. Don't know where they're at. They're right there. There's so many uh, really uh, good wars we could do right now. Curse undone. So it looks like Tiberios has died. That is our rival. So that's going to result in us losing some stress. Very helpful since we were in the critical stress level. And I don't think there's anything we can do here because of how, how broke we are. So I'm assuming they're coming over here to attack these guys, but this siege will be done here in mere moments. All right, excellent. So this siege is being done as well. And so there's only one location left to siege. Let's go ahead and move over there. And we did take some more prisoners. Let me take a look and see how the king of Serbia is doing on money. He does have some for us. So let's go ahead and uh, ransom off somebody for 50. And then we'll take a look, see if we can't get any money here. Uh, I don't know if any of these are helping on the war score, so let's just take a look real quick. Make sure that's not the case. No. All right, so uh, let's... Oops, I need to click on that. Uh, let's go back to the, the prisoners and see if there's any money we can get here. We can get 10 there. Uh, just a favor here. How about here? Yeah, just a favor there as well. Okay, then. So that'll get us about 60 gold when those two are accepted. All right, so now they're going to come over this way. They do not want to fight us. All right, 55% now after we finished up that siege, and we took more prisoners. Excellent. Got 49 gold from that siege. That's a nice bit of money there. All right, so still in debt. Uh, still deeply in debt. Then this is, is helping enough. Uh, so I don't think there's anything else left to siege down. Uh, I guess there's this area here. I think that's not a part of the conflict, though. No. Okay. Uh, there's territory up here. I suppose we can go over that way. Just so we're doing something with these uh, sieging armies. And so once those two sieges are done, which this one's five months, uh, this one I assume will be about three. And we were able to sway the count again. Excellent. Uh, just taking a look at 89% chance there. So yeah, we should be done with this war here soon, and then we're going to have to have another long, long period of peace as we attempt to... Uh, you know, fix our financial issues again. This would help a lot. We can get 457 gold here, so we're going to go ahead and ask him. Uh, nowhere near as much gold as we normally would get because of all these penalties we are taking, man. We're taking such significant penalties in these provinces, uh, and, and so many of the provinces have those penalties. Uh, maybe not. Maybe uh, just a few of them do. Looks like two provinces. Okay, I thought there was a lot more. Uh, we must have got rid of some of them, though. But most importantly, our capital is getting the penalties. So that's definitely hitting us. Uh, getting that money there will not get us out of debt. We do have many other uh, ransom uh, offers we can send off, and these sieges will get us a little bit of money as well. But yeah, we're we're still gonna be in debt, guys, uh, when we end this war. So we're gonna have to spend a period of uh, a peace to try and build up our treasury again. And it just sucks because there's a lot of good wars to take advantage of, and we just haven't uh, been able to because I've been distracted with uh, assassinating characters and uh, helping out our our sons and grandsons and keeping their titles. Uh, but yeah, this uh, war here will ensure that our dynasty is going to inherit all this here. Of course, that will be our third son inheriting that. But the, the point is we're spreading our dynasty throughout uh, all of the Byzantine Empire. Uh, and hopefully we should eventually have our dynasty on the thrones of uh, most of these these duchies. And you can see we already have them on several around our, our borders here. Of course, this one will go to us as well. Uh, I don't think... Yeah, we're not getting this one, unfortunately. Hmm. Oh no, we are getting this one. Okay. I was thinking he has a different title. That's just his current counts, county. So yeah, we're getting this one as well. Uh, this one too. So yeah, all this here is all set to go to us right now, guys. Uh, yeah, all of this right here. And then there's also Crimea too, which is in our dynasty already. So yeah, we're, we're extending our dynasty across the entire Byzantine Empire right now. We're being pretty successful in that uh, overall. Uh, it seems that this territory did go free. This is no longer under uh, the Empress. So the Byzantine Empire has actually lost quite a bit of land over here because of that. Uh, so it'll be something we'll have to deal with once we become Emperor. 
which would basically be as soon as we die, we technically were emperor, though we're not ruling in our own right as emperor. We'd still technically just be king, uh, but we'd have the the title. Uh, and once she inherits, of course, uh, we'd have that title of, of emperor, uh, even if we're not you know, actually holding the title. And then, of course, then our next children, uh, whoever takes over, whether it's a daughter or if we end up having a son, then our son uh, would be the, the emperor or empress. Uh, so we're eventually going to be inheriting that title very soon, and then we'll have to start cleaning up these issues here because there are a lot of them. Uh, some bad rule been happening at the, on the imperial level for a while now. Uh, while they've been expanding up north here, just been losing territory in other locations, especially like here and then this here, and and I think they've lost some title here, some titles here in Syria too. Uh, but yeah, you can see that the empire, the empire has extended into some some other areas here. Yeah, so we do have some titles out there that we'll inherit eventually. Uh, so that'll be several episodes from now. Uh, right now, we just need to concentrate on getting this current conflict done and then building the treasury back up. Uh, so I hope you guys did enjoy today's episode. If you did, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. I do hope to see you guys on the next episode. And thanks for watching.